Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm C Tech Dude. Thank you so much for joining me today as we look at this new phone that I have in front of me. This is the Umi Digi, Umi Digi, I don't know how to say that word, but it's the Umi Digi, I'm gonna say that, uh, Power. This phone was just recently released and it's available on Amazon for $140 or $130 with the $10 coupon that they have right now. Link in the description for the phone. And we're gonna be quickly unboxing this phone for you today, and then I'm gonna come back a couple days later with my honest thoughts after using it for that long. So let's go and get started with the unboxing experience. So first, you have this nice little sleeve, which I'm just gonna to throw to the side right here. And then you have this uh, kind of cool looking box. It's got a little texture design on it. Uh, looks like a fingerprint almost, probably because this phone has a fingerprint sensor, which most phones do nowadays, but yeah, uh, I don't know. No, I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyways, let's get, let's keep going. So, box is off. There's a nice little uh, note here that says thanks. It's nice of them. So, yeah, cool. Thanks, Umi Digi, for telling me thank you. Thank you. And here is that phone. Oh, nice. Has a nice little uh, leather case that comes with it. That actually feels pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. It's always nice when they include a case in the box with the phone, I think. A lot of the budget phones do for some reason. A lot of the more expensive phones don't. I, I don't know the reasoning behind that, but probably because they don't, a lot of people won't make cases for budget phones. So it's not that it's nice that they include the case in the box. It does feel, uh, it does feel leathery, but I think it's just more plastic, but has a nice little leather textured finish. I'm not gonna complain, pretty sweet. And then here is the phone. It also has a screen protector installed on it, which I'm going to quickly peel it off because it says to do that, and nice, and the screen protector's now installed, pretty cool. I'm just going to throw that to the side over here. So take this back plastic off as well because we're here to unbox this phone and look at it. So I'm going to do it right here live for you guys. So wow, this phone actually feels really premium i'm not gonna lie it has like a metal finish i mean it's plastic but it has like a little pretty solid metal filling finish on it i'm not gonna lie guys that's nice that is very nice and it's also not glossy so it's not gonna attract those fingerprints which a lot of phones have that glass pack which just attracts fingerprints and this is not this is textured and matte finish very nice so on the right side of the phone you have the power button and the volume rocker. Uh, no difference in textures, but there's a nice little spacing there, so you won't, you should be able to identify the power button pretty easily. I'm gonna fire that up while we're looking at the rest of the phone. So on the top, you just got a microphone, and on this side, you have the dual SIM or single SIM and SD card slot. So let's go ahead and pop that out and see how that works exactly. Okay, so you can either use two SIMs, one SIM right here and one SIM right here, or you can use a SIM card right here and a micro SD card, so pretty cool. So you can expand this up to 256 gigabytes of storage with a micro SD card. Pretty sweet. So not bad. Now, specs-wise on this phone, guys, this has a Helio P35 octa-core process processor words are words are hard guys okay um which is equivalent to about a snapdragon 625 if you're not familiar with mediatek processors uh because i'm not really uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get this finger this uh sim card slot back in here uh, uh, okay maybe i'm doing that wrong uh brief uh, technical difficulties guys hang on one second Well, what the heck? That's what happens when you do things in one take. Things happen that you don't expect. So am I just doing this backwards? No. See so guys, I'm here to show you how things can go wrong because if it's gonna go wrong, it's gonna happen to me. Just let's just be honest. So push it in. It just is not is just not going in flush. I don't know I don't know what the deal is. Um huh.
I'm gonna give it one more second and I'm about to move on from this, guys. I'll come back to that later. Okay, just had to really press that really hard to get that to go in back in, but it does go in. So that's why I'm here to help you guys in case you have questions like that, uh, because I wasn't expecting that. So I'm glad that I uh, showed that to you. So anyways, moving on, you have that micro SD card slot. And then guys on the bottom, thank heavens you have USB-C. Yes, USB-C, no micro USB on this phone, which most budget phones have micro USB, especially this price point, the $140, $130 price point. Thankfully this one does not. And headphone jack, yeah, sweet. And on the back, you have dual cameras, a 16 megapixel and a five megapixel with an LED flash, pretty sweet. And you have that fingerprint sensor, which we're gonna test that out in a second. And then this uh, little Yumi Digi logo here, uh, nothing obtrusive. And actually, like I said, guys, this phone, I really like the way this phone feels, I'm not gonna lie. And then you have this full HD plus display with the little teardrop notch at the top. Um, so far, I'm impressed, guys. Uh, this thing, viewing angles, just looking at it right here and now, look really good. Not gonna lie. I mean, it's plenty bright and vivid. I'm, so far, I'm very impressed with this phone. Like, I haven't used it, uh, which I'm going to, but just first impressions, very nice. Another big selling feature of this phone, guys, is the 5150 milliamp hour battery. That's gonna last forever. I mean, not forever, but at least probably uh, two days, I would think, um, especially with the specs, since it's kind of a lower power device, it's gonna handle that, that battery life pretty amazingly. And you also have 64 gigs of storage and four gigs of RAM in here. I mean, so far, I'm impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this startup screen for you real quick and get to the main OS, show you what it looks like. It's supposed to have Android 9 Pie stock OS on it. We'll see if that's true. Okay guys, and we are now in the OS. Um, I was able to set up the fingerprint sensor while I went through the setup process. So I'm gonna test that out for you real quick. So, boom, quick, uh, very quick actually. Yeah, very nice. And you have that power wallpaper, which, eh, I don't know if I like that. I mean, yes, this phone does have tremendous power thanks to that huge battery, but wallpaper is probably gonna go. I'll probably change that. But, um, so now we are in the OS. And let me tell you what I can see so far, initial impressions, this is basically stock Android. Um, has a couple of features that aren't stock, like you can hide the navigation bar, and then slide it up from the bottom to bring it back, not bad. Virtual key, I'm not sure what that does. Okay, so it's uh, gesture, so turning that off enables gesture support. Turning it on brings the navigation buttons back. Okay, pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that the way it is for now. It's got face unlock, Dura speed. I'm not sure what exactly that is. Helps boost the foreground app by restricting background apps. I'm not gonna turn that on. It sounds like some kind of power monitoring feature. I don't want that. And everything else looks pretty stock. And as you can see, oh, there's also some gestures so you can enable double tap to open the camera, double press the power button. Sweet. Free screenshot. Long press the back key for one second to enter the free screen mode. Oh, I should probably enable that first. <laughs> okay, so that enables a uh, screenshot feature that if you hold down the back key, that's pretty cool actually. Uh, not bad. I'm gonna keep that on. And then I wanted to quickly show you the about phone section to show you the uh, Android version 9, Android 9 Pie, cool. So yeah, this is a, definitely feels like stock Android and feels super snappy upon first impressions, guys, I'm not gonna lie. So sweet. Um, you know, a lot of times budget phones, I'm not super excited to actually use the phone for my daily driver, but this one, I really am. I mean, this, so far it feels like a pretty, pretty amazing value. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the camera I'll give you some more camera impressions later in the video, but for now I just wanted to see how quickly that opens and maybe take a couple of sample shots. So it takes the picture pretty uh, snappy and you can also hold down for burst mode. Yeah, 
let's see what the front camera looks like. Actually, it looks, looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, so it's got a bokeh mode, portrait mode. I'll test that uh, real quick on this microphone, but I'll test it later for you. So let me see what that looks like. You know what, that doesn't look half bad. Um, obviously there's a little ghosting around the microphone, but not bad. It's got that, like I said, two cameras on the back, 16 megapixel and five megapixels. So that five megapixels is probably helping with the uh, portrait mode. Video, now this processor only handles 1080p at 30 frames a second, so don't expect anything amazing. All right guys, I think that about does it for the first impressions of this. Oh, actually let me test the microphone real quick. Quickly, it does have FM radio as well, so that's pretty cool. So it's got a singer, single firing speaker down here, guys, but it actually sounds pretty loud. That's not even a full blast. Definitely not going to miss any alerts with that uh, that mic, that speaker. Excuse me. So yeah, um, so far, guys. I'm excited. Um, this phone feels super nice in the hand. It looks super premium, honestly. Um, first impressions, no complaints whatsoever. So I'm gonna use this phone, like I said, for a couple of days and come back with you. It'll be more like two seconds for you, uh, but I'll be back with that shortly. Here we go. And welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for waiting while I use this phone for a couple of days as my main device so I can give you my full review right now. Now, before we get started, I did realize I didn't go over what uh, is left in the rest of the box. So I'm going to go and do that real quick right now. So in here, you get, oh, cool. You get a uh, red USB-C cable, kind of reminiscent of the OnePlus USB-C cable. Sweet. And you also get a 18 watt, I believe. Yeah. It's a fast charging brick. So sweet. Uh, I like that. You know, this phone has been impressing me, and I'm here to talk about that with you right now. So, for the last couple days, I've been using this phone as my daily driver, and let me just tell you, it's been a pleasure. Uh, honestly, it has, really has been a pleasure. So I'm going to go over my quick likes and dislikes about this phone. So my main likes about this phone is, of course, that, that battery life that's just uh, second to none, really, guys. I've got about 36 hours on a full charge, and that's with six hours screen on time, and for me, that's very awesome because I'm a heavy user and that's with watching YouTube and Netflix playing some games on here and let me tell you it's it's awesome now as far as the screen goes a 6.3 inch 1080p display is just a pleasure to watch content on although my one complaint uh, Netflix for this chipset does not support 1080p playback so when you watch Netflix on this phone it's gonna be a little blurry and it's pretty annoying I'm not sure if that'll be something that can be updated in the future but hopefully it will be but everything else that's 1080p content uh, looks looks awesome. It really does. Now, as far as camera goes, the camera in good lighting like this will take pretty awesome pictures. I'm actually gonna show you a couple of samples right now. But when you get into low light situations, it does struggle quite a bit. And that's to be expected at this price point. $140, $130, uh, you're not gonna expect a great camera, although it does in good lighting take great pictures, honestly. Uh, no complaints there. I also really like, and this this surprised me when I first uh, noticed this, when making a phone call, there'll be an option to actually record the call, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to see if I can give you an example of that right now. So yeah, as you can see here, there's a little start recording button. You push that and your phone call is recorded. You can hear the other person and yourself when you play it back. That's very useful, very sweet. I wish all phones would have that built in. That's a pretty cool little feature, I just want to share that with you. Now as far as gaming goes, I did try a few games on here. I tried Beach Buggy Racing, which isn't super demanding, but it played back perfectly. I also tried PUBG Mobile, which is playable at low settings with no problem at all. And it looks, like I said, on this giant screen, uh, it looks pretty awesome. And this screen, guys, this makes this phone a two-handed device. It's it's a big phone, I'm not going to lie, i got pretty big hands. And you will have to use your other hand, I mean, let's just face it. That's not a bad thing necessarily, but just want to let you know that you do have to use both hands for this phone because it's a big phone. Unless you just got like Shaquille O'Neal size hands, you're going to be using two hands. Let's just face it. Now, the only other things that I really have to say about this phone that are negative are just little nitpicky things that uh, are just would be preferential on the next version of this phone. Um, there's no LED notification light, which 
can be a little annoying. Um, when you get a notification, the screen doesn't really do much. I mean, it just stays black, so you don't really necessarily know you have a notification unless you listen for the speaker uh, and the notification sound, which on this speaker, guys, it gets very loud. It's not the best quality speaker, but it does get plenty loud, so you're not gonna miss many notifications, but if you have it on vibrate, um, just be careful, because the vib vibration motor is not super strong, so yeah. That's all I gotta say about that. And then a couple more nitpicky things. The volume and power buttons, they're easy to mix up. Um, as you can see, the power button's right here, and then right above that's the volume, and then right above that's the volume up. And they're not super spaced out, so you might have a little trouble finding them on the first few tries, but you'll get used to it eventually. And as far as the other complaints, there's really not much that I have left to say, guys. Uh, this has been a great phone. Pleasure to use. I'm using it with T-Mobile and it's unlocked for all major GSM carriers. And I was getting Volt and Wi-Fi calling with no issues at all. I didn't have to put in an APN. It just automatically detected my settings. And you can use two SIM cards in here. I didn't try that. I just used one and a micro SD card and everything worked fine. Um, so overall, this phone, guys, gets a huge recommendation for me. If you're looking for a phone with great battery life at a cheap price point, you can't find much of a better deal than this. This thing is just a beast of a phone um, and that's, I mean, not much else to say about it. I love it, I'm gonna keep it and hopefully you will buy it if you are in the market for a good phone at a cheap price. So anyways guys, thanks for sticking around. And this has been a long a long review and unboxing experience, but wanted to share my honest thoughts with you in real time. So thanks again for watching, hope you have a great day. I'm CE Tech Dude. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here and I will see you around. Thanks everybody, peace, bye.